Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Prestigeon. I'm Ostrilla and we are increasing the burger. So, got to deal with these rebels in our vassal. Come on, you do the fighting, I'll do the watching. Go, go. Up, up, up. You go fight. I'm gonna use my manpower and my money. Uh, let's convert. Convert the hardest out. Religious unity is getting up. Um, damn it! Of all the ones you could have gone to, I thought you would go this one or this one, but you went this one. Is there a crossing there? There's no crossing. Alright, I think maybe I should do it. I should fight. We'll see if I'll get there on time. Uh, 1st of September. 15 days left. 8th of September, 7 days. Okay, so, what are we going to go? Um, hmm. What should we do? What should we do? What will suit us better? Does this have anything to do with institutions now? Tech cost minus 5%, institution embracement cost minus 10. Um, so I think you need 50% in order to embrace. Oh no, it needs to be embraced in at least 10% of our autonomy modified development in order to be embraced. And then you have to pay something, I think. I don't know what it is, Diplo or all Monarch points, or I have no idea what it is to how you embrace it. Um, so innovative might be an idea because I wish it would increase the um, institution spread though. Innovative might be a good idea just because we are sort of far away from We're kind of far away from um, where all the institutions are, where they all spawn. Um, let me think about that. Uh, I'll do that just before we do a war. Okay, so when I get my final claim on Adal, then I think we might get a war. I really wish that um, Asusa would come back, and if it wouldn't say incorporate a Lodia into the country when you can't actually. Ooh, what's this? Countries wish to hire condottieri. The following countries are likely to accept condottieri offers, providing provided your troops have access to them. Pate. Pate is against Kiwa and Alindi. I don't think we can get access because we're um, rival to a, a Juran. No access to land capital. Okay, but I mean that's pretty cool that this comes up, but I wish it would also take into account that I can't actually get access. But I like that. 
Um... All right, we'll just wait until we get this last claim. I think we need 35, wasn't it? Yeah, we need 35 spy. Two of a kind. Our queen, Eleni, has impressed many men and women at court with her sharp wit. Really? I don't think these events take into account the fact that um, she's a baffling buffoon. The traits don't match the events. Um... Apparently one of the scientists are, are visiting our court as per our Queen's invitation. They can be found discussing all sorts of new theories far into the wee hours of the night. Queen Eleni has asked us to make the scientific scientist an offer, claiming that she would make a much better advisor than the Inquisitor we currently employ. Um, no. No, 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 we need the Inquisitor. He's got to convert all of our stuff. And we can gain 50 admin. I like it. That's a good event. Okay, so I think we're at cap. No, we're not. I swear we were at cap before. I'm sure I built up to 17. Okay. Well, let's build another two. Hmm, maybe I should um, develop this province in order to um, solve my money problems. Still haven't decided which idea group I'm going to do. We are blessed! A bountiful harvest. Gain some money. Got to pay back this loan. I wish these guys would be a little less stable. I wish they would, um... I don't know. Attack Kilwa. Or Pate. Why didn't he attack Pate? I naturally want to go quantity, just because we, we've we been suffering with manpower, we will suffer with manpower, we're going to have to go up against Mamluks, and Mamluks have a very, very large army. Um, and having the quantity might be very helpful. Because we get um, extra manpower recovery, and so sort of boosted by about 90%. Um, that will help with the money. We're not going to use mercs just at the moment because we don't have the money. Um, garrison size, I mean, our forts are already pretty awesome. Um, that will make it even more awesome. Land attrition. Land force limit modifier. We have to get all the way to the end of quantity before we, um, we get a larger army. Yeah, Mamluks is a great power. Um, Mamluks is... Seventh. Ooh, um, Castile is back. Castile is back in the power. Back in the running. From its own development. So it doesn't... The union hasn't happened yet. Um, also Poland is a great power. I don't think Poland was in the list at all before. It was Lithuania. Oh, okay. It's because, um... Poland has a union over Lithuania. That's why Lithuania is gone and Poland's in. That makes sense. Um, England's missing from the list. England's been kicked out, so... I don't know what happened. France might have beat the shit out of England. Taken all of their land cores. Uh, continent cores. Um, is now calm. Severely cost modifier. Who's that? Oh, that's my current king. So my current king is righteous and calm. So he gets um, stability cost modifier. Cool. Cool. I like that. Alright, let's convert um, 
Another one? Ming must be a pain now. Yeah, Ming would be a... Oh, well... I mean, they still can't embrace the institutions and stuff, so the... The tech penalty will still go up. Just like my penalty's going up. Um, see, if I look at... Hold on. Where is it? See, everyone's tech penalty is still quite high. France hasn't adopted Renaissance or anything like that. I think Italy will finish adopting it before everyone else. Um, let's fabricate the claim. I want Susa. Good. Alright, so I've got all the claims I need. Um... Oh, in just a few days I could annex Elodia. This will be done in quite a while from now. So I should probably get started on this. 1467. I just have to decide whether or not I'm doing a Diplo idea. Um, if I go influence then I could just keep Elodia around for a little bit longer and um, and annex them for less. I think a military one might be more useful for us at this stage. I think um, becoming a military power and being able to actually challenge the Mamluks to move up this way as opposed to just moving down this way uh, might be a good idea. So I'm not going to go influence, I'm going to go a military. Um, I'm going to go quantity. Because we are going to be up against a very large army soon. And we're always suffering from manpower. So we'll go quantity. And... What was I just doing? Oh yeah, we're going to annex. Good. Uh, you can't hit the westernized button anymore to get rid of that horrible mandate of heaven modifying. You're still stuck with Celestial Empire forever. Ally the Ottomans against the Mamluks? I can't even... I don't... I... It's in the list, but I can't... I haven't met them yet. See, I can't even bring up the display. Um, I'm rivaled with Mamluks, so... Yeah, there's a possibility... Ottomans have rivaled Mamluks, we just haven't discovered them. Oh, Mamluks is losing against QQ. Hmm. Did you fabricate? Yep, you fabricated. You come home. Okay, so we'll be fighting Mamluks and Nadaj. Um, can't get any of our allies to join. Distant war, attitude towards enemy, accepting would destabilize Yemen. Mamluks. You've improved relations with them. They're not going to give you an alliance, buddy. Um, alright. I don't think we can go to war with Mamluks by ourselves unless they get wrecked by Ottomans or something. Uh, I don't think they even border the Ottomans. Because otherwise, Ottomans would have declared war on the Mamluks right away. No manpower and still have 25,000 troops. Um... Yeah, I think we should probably get a war with Adal now. Oh, are you kidding? Ethiopia recently broke a promise to give land. Alright. Um, I wonder when that goes away. I don't see promise to... Promise to give land stuff. So, um, hmm. 
I have to wait for 10 favors, I suppose. Three more years. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll wait and see how wrecked Mamluks get as to whether or not we're going to attack. Um, we're the same tech group as them. We have 17. They have, what was it, 30 at the moment? They have 25. We can't call any of our allies. So I'm just going to wait and see if they get wrecked. Um, and then we can declare on the Mamluks. Um, let's go this and this. Well, the tech penalty cost isn't huge. North African... Well, we've got a lot more to choose from. Um, so this is kind of balanced. This is more offensive. This is more defensive. Uh, this puts it more into morale. As opposed to shock. Um, well, we're going to be the same tech. They don't have any ideas. They have um, cavalry combat ability, though. I think we might put it into shock. Offensive shock. We'll go offensive shock. Offensive morale. We'll go on the offensive. The only way I'm going to attack is if um, their army decreases in size. We've got 24 at the moment. They've got 24, I mean. Um, hmm, should I get this? I think we're more likely to attack Adal first. It depends on when this uh, promised land goes away or when I use favors. Oh, political marriage is such a union as it is a contract of mutual support. The Hadiya family expects that the Nagusa Nagast will heed the advice of the queen and actively look after their and his interests. The crown will fund development of the Hadiya lands. Gain one base tax in Jojam. Lose 100 admin. Wow, that's very expensive development. The Hadiya family will remember that we came to their help. Or... Each, uh, Yao. Um, we get a lot of local autonomy and we lose 10 prestige and lessen cooperation on the Hadiya on the local level. They'll hold it against us in the future. Um, which province is that? Is that the capital? No, this one. This is a fairly large province. I don't want 25. It's 100 admin worth, 25, and one base tax, and whatever this um, future help thing is. I have no idea what this future help thing is, and I'd really like to find out what it is. So I'm going to do that. And we'll see if they come to our health in a war or something. I don't know. They might give us mercs or free troops or something. I don't know what happens. I think it's a new thing. Either that or it's a Coptic or a Ethiopian thing. Right, do we have enough favors yet? No. We need two more favors or we need to see when Mamluks are dying. No, they're back up to 26 and they've peaced out. Okay. So luckily we didn't go to war because they would have pieced out straight away and then we would have been fighting 26,000 troops um, with our, what is it, 17? Oh, 18 now. With our 18,000 troops. Pay my loon. See, I don't see the reason why you would ever pay back the loan early, because it already includes all of the loan. Six sixty-three with four percent interest to the end of the loan to the end of the um, thing is seventy-two point six six. 
So the only thing it affects is the multiple of your surplus. Um, and I think events are based on the multiple of your surplus. So it only affects, if you repay the loans, it affects that. But, um... Yeah, there's no real point in paying back your loans early. Because you pay all the interest anyway. I'll convert the Jewish last. Just because it's amusing to me. Um, let's build up... Spy Network. Spy Network. Okay, so one more year and we can call Warsangali. Ooh, Medivari. Ooh, I can claim throne. We have no diplomats to send. Uh, we do not have the same ruling dynasty. Oh, damn it. It was the, um, the queen had the same dynasty. Oh, but on, person on monarch death, personal union with Ethiopia. So... He just needs to die before he gets a, an heir. Die! Just hunting accident. Do it! Do it! Oh wow, why is it... Oh, it's ahead of time bonus. Sorry. <laughs> it's panicking for a second there. Um... can change in 1464. Three more years and I can change the focus. It's because we have this awesome leader. 655. Um, I think we have to do some development. Because we've got a lot of admin. We've got a lot of everything. Let's do some development. Um, at some point I am going to want to develop Kaffa. Um, should I do it straight away? Hold on. Gaining plus three. Um, yeah, let's do development in Kaffa. Okay, so that's up to seven, so I can do another two on this. Another three. Alright, so that should help our income a little bit because of the gold. Um, I might also pay down... No, I can't. Um, yeah, that, that should be good for now. Um, and we'll use the admin in order to, um, to core all of this stuff. So I think we're going to go to war now. Yep, one more year and we can go to war. We'll use favour. So, in the next episode, we are going to war with Adal. I'll just double check that everybody would be willing to join. Uh, I'm pretty sure they will. So in next episode we're going to go to war with Adal, Marahan and Ajuran. Um, in order to full annex Adal. So like, subscribe, comment and I'll see you next episode. Bye for now.